the Atlanta-based group, the Mikos. Um, I do also want to acknowledge Councilmember Edward Pollard, who was with us uh, this afternoon. Um, but in, more than an entertainer, he was a son, a brother, cousin, and a friend, and a mentor to those in the music industry. Uh, at that time, we also asked witnesses to help police identify takeoffs, killer and prevent more violence from happening in retaliation. I am glad that a suspect has been arrested and charged with takeoff's death. Uh, it certainly, I think, will bring some comfort to the family, though it does not bring a takeoff back. Uh, this is a significant step towards seeking justice, and I hope it also brings uh, additional comfort to all of those who love takeoff. Over the past few weeks, Chief Fenn and I were asked often about the status of the investigation. Uh, the chief kept me informed about uh, the information that had been received, the evidence that has been collected, including the videos, uh, the video that was being reviewed. Uh, I want to express my regrets and disappointment uh, that this was a case of another uh, young man uh, taking the life of another young man for no, for no reason. Uh, the gun violence uh, everywhere, not just in the city of Houston, has to stop. People are dying for little or no reason, and people are reaching for a deadly firearm uh, to settle sometimes uh, minor disagreements. But pulling a firearm can have um, deadly consequences uh, that you cannot undo. And so I'm glad that um, a arrest has taken place, uh, that we do have someone uh, in custody. Uh, um, it is unfortunate. It really is unfortunate. Uh, because it does not bring takeoff back. But to Chief Fenner, to you, to your command staff, to the investigators, to the DA's office, to all of the partners who helped, to those who provided tips, information, uh, let, me, let, me, let me thank you and then um, look forward to this um, investigation and prosecution continuing uh, on this matter.